Hello everyone, today we are going to be going into vitality testing of teeth and the different methods we may use to do so. So here's a tray with a couple of different methods that we can use such as heat, cold, palpation, percussion, and electric pulp testing. Alright Sarah, so today we're going to be doing vitality testing on that tooth that you have that's giving you a little bit of an issue. So I want you to give me some type of way to tell me to stop my test when I do it. That can be either you raising your hand, you can give me like a yeesh or a yikes or something, okay. even go for like a G willikers. Oh. Apart from that, something to tell me to stop my test. Okay. You ready to go? Alright, let's do it. Awesome, let's go ahead and then oh, get Elsa. Oh, you know, just standard these days and everything like that. Come on, let's go ahead and give me an ah. ah. First, we're going to be beginning with our cold test using some type of spray or ice. We're going to be applying this to our cotton tip applicator or a cotton ball made from a cotton roll. A quick method to make a cotton pellet on the fly is just grab a cotton roll and your cotton pliers and just pull at the ends until you got an appropriate size. First, we're going to be starting with our cold spray and a cotton tip applicator. Usually, you can find a straw on the side of the can, but that tends to be lost no matter what we try to do to keep it there. Go ahead and affix the straw straight to the nozzle and plan on going and spraying either away from the patient or behind the patient so that they don't get hit with any of this chill. Give a two to three second spray directly on the tip of the cotton tip applicator after you shake it. So when we begin to place it on the tooth, we're going to be placing it on the direct center of the buccal or facial side of that tooth and check out a couple neighboring teeth right next to it. Also go around and check the teeth across the way be wary to keep the chill stick off of the gums to not elicit a wrongful response. Be sure to well inform your patient what you're doing and how do you want them to respond to the stimuli, either by raising their hand, a nod, pull away. We can then take that information, jot it down on the chart, and continue to move on to the next piece. Just know that some weirdos can have a real high tolerance to these types of pain stimuli, just as those people that bite down straight into the ice cream without batting an eye. This next method of the heat test is one of the least used ones, but if we do have to, we tend to use a thick piece of gutta percha that will melt down and apply to the tooth with the same type of response. Just be sure that you don't catch fire to the gutta percha and start off those smoke alarms or anything. Be careful when you're uh, vitality testing teeth, especially when you're dealing with crowns. This, because of the thickness or the material that's made out of, the stimuli cannot go past the crown's material into the nerve of the tooth to get a accurate response. The next test that we're going to use is called a percussion test. Well, we use the back end of the mouth mirror to apply a drum-like tapping force consistently onto the aforementioned teeth that we've been testing. Just as we've done whenever we applied stimuli to a tooth, have your patient raise their hand if they feel any pain or abnormalities, then jot the information down. It's normal for there to be an annoyance from tapping on the teeth with this method, but there should be a noticeable pain if the tooth is sick or abscessed. As you see, using the back of our mouth mirror, consistent tapping pressure on the cusp or incisal edge of each tooth, then that area is going to give us our testing results. With our palpation test, we're going to be using one to two fingers right along the gum line and putting a consistent pressure so that we can activate any uh, abnormal areas or abscesses that may be festering below. Be sure to check around the neighboring teeth and the opposite side to get a baseline normal reading. Inform your patient to raise their hand if any type of zing starts happening. The next test that we have here is our electric pulp testing. Usually it has some type of button and a switch that we can make it go either very slow or if we go and switch it up hardcore, we can go to a more faster testing speed. With that, we are going to have a little probe that's going to go and insert on the top. There's different sizes, so just pick the appropriate one that can reach all the way back, or you just need a little less distance for the front. And always rotate that screen so that whoever's activating these numbers can see the intensity that's at when the patient indicates to us that they feel it. Using some type of conduit, such as a gel, like our fluoride gel, or our toothpaste on a mixing pad, we're going to just dip the tip into the toothpaste, this could help us deliver the shock to the tooth. When prepping to do the shock test on the tooth, make sure to dry the tooth and the neighboring teeth around it so that the shock doesn't deliver to multiple teeth at a time. Place a cotton roll to isolate the tooth from the lip also. Take the probe and the toothpaste and place it directly on the center of the tooth 
after we get everything set. Once it's applied to the tooth, you can inform your patient to grab on to the base of the electric pulp tester where the metal is, and this is going to complete our circuit so that we can deliver the shock to the tooth. They're in control of when they feel it to remove it rather than us continuously shocking them if they don't lift up their hand or try to power through the pain. Of course, don't freak them out with the whole shocking or electricity type of deal. Just let them know, hey, you'll feel a tingle or a warm feeling. When you feel it, raise your hand or remove it from the tooth. The number that we then get on our screen is what we will record. Do the same test on a couple neighbor teeth and the control tooth on the other side. If you don't wanna give that control to your patient to hold onto the device, there's also a different method where there's a wire and a hook that you can attach to this little side pin right there. Attach the wire, attach the hook, and you're going to place it on the opposite side of the tooth that you're testing, such as if we're testing the right side, hook the left side of the cheek or lip. Do the same actions of drying the tooth and the teeth around it, and inform your patient now they must raise their hand for us to stop the shock. And of course, take our readings from there and jot it down in the patient's file. In some cases, when doing the electric pulp tester, you might have two teeth right next door to each other that might have an amalgam filling uh, that touch in between the teeth. At that point, we need to insulate that tooth from shocking the tooth next door to it. Using a little slip of rubber dam material, we can floss it in between the teeth so that it creates a nice barriered off wall that will not deliver a shock to its next door neighbor. All right, Miss Sarah, looks like uh, all my tests are being really difficult to find out what tooth is giving you the problem here. What? Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to call in the specialist, okay? Oh no, what does that mean? Nah, they can handle it. They're really sure? good at this. Oh, you're gonna be I fine. Don't know. You're in I very know. special I'm, I'm care. I'm so used to this Acme Dental Clinic. <laughs> oh, no problem. I'm Listen, worried. Yeah, I'll do, we have a special person for you. I'll get okay. to him just one moment. Okay. Hey, Doc, it looks like we're going to need a specialist in there. Uh, I'm going to go handle one of the other rooms while uh, you get that going, okay? I'm going to go do my test there. That's all that we got for today about vitality testing. Thank you for joining me and hopefully you stuck around to the end. Leave some comments about any other subjects you want me to go over in the future or any procedures you want me to go into more in depth. And I'll see you on the next video. Take it easy.